Ladies and gentlemen, Modern Warfare 2 has just been announced. I mean, let's get right into the trailer. I don't know what the heck is going on out here. What the heck is happening, Modern Warfare 2, Ville? We really do not know. Uh, but yeah, it's interesting. It's here. I can't believe it, to be honest. It's been We've been asking for this for years at this point. And finally, they got some homies on a ship. What the heck? What's my boy doing? He's peeking out from the corner there. Uh, the drone footage looks sick here. What the heck? Where are we going, dude? Where, where, where's the video game? Where's the footage? I mean, it kind of looks like a video game, but then it doesn't. Captain Price, I mean, of course the homie's gonna be in a Modern Warfare game, you know? We're really expecting my homie to come out. Uh, but dude, it looks sick. I like the way they like have all this positioning out. <laughs> going under the truck shot. Yo. I wonder who got paid to do that. Uh, but yeah, looks pretty cool. Ah, oh, nice. They made the ghost logo. Yo, is that ghost? Is he coming back, dude? No way, dude. Uh, but yeah, that is Modern Warfare 2, October 28th. And like I said, that is a little bit early uh, for a Call of Duty game. You would really not expect that. And I want to see, just because a lot of you guys are here for zombies, you probably are asking me, is there going to be zombies in this game? And... Honestly, if I were to give you a chance, like a ratio in terms of if I believe there's going to be zombies in this game, I just don't know, to be honest. I really don't think that zombies is going to be a massive integral experience. And it sucks because I literally have some gameplay pulled up uh, right here of Mephistopheles, which is one of my favorite bosses in an Infinity Ward made zombies mode here. I will pull it up. It is just one of my favorite things ever. And uh, I just wish that something like this would honestly be recreated into Infinity War. Just because, again, this is one of the greatest bosses I think that has ever been conceived on IW. And it's by Infinity Ward. And it's the best zombies boss out of anything. Out of all Treyarchs, it's insane. It's so amazing. And I feel like a lot of people just don't know about this. So I'm going to just promote it here. But seriously, like in terms of Modern Warfare 2... If I were to give you guys my guess, best guesstimate of what I think this game is going to be. Unfortunately, I think it's going to be similar to Vanguard where it's going to be a Warzone DLC, basically. So all the guns on Warzone are going to go back to Modern Warfare 2, which is going to be awesome. I'm definitely not complaining about that. And also, multiplayer is going to be exactly like Modern Warfare Remastered, but just with Modern Warfare 2 guns. That is going to be my guess. And that is honestly what I'm excited for. Modern Warfare 2 was the game that literally brought me into this franchise. It was what brought me into playing Zombies. It was what brought me into playing IW, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 3. All these different games. There's so much reason to come back and play these amazing games. And so... That is why I'm just sort of confused as to what Modern Warfare 2 is really going to do. Uh, like I said, the chances of a zombie mode, in my opinion, are probably less than 5%. That would be genuinely the answer that I would give you. I'd even probably say even closer to zero, just because there's been so many leaks right now with the zombies community in terms of a standalone game. Something to do with COD 2024 zombies. Deviation games now. It's very confusing to understand what is going to happen, and that is why I think Zombies, we all know, is going to be pushed until 2024, and basically up until now, we're just going to be having Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer. So, it's going to be a lot of fun. I think Warzone needs a big rejuvenation. I think Modern Warfare 2 could be that big rejuvenation for the franchise. I don't know exactly how they're going to rejuvenate it, because again, they just added a Warzone King Kong vs. Godzilla event, and I feel like people got over that in about an hour. Um, and I think this is something that Call of Duty's really been struggling with probably over the past decade is just trying to get players back in, trying to get them to enjoy the replayability aspect of the game mode. And honestly, that's something that I love about this footage here because this is Infinity Ward. This is one of the hardest bosses in the game. I've still yet to beat it. I literally fail in this run and it is just so difficult and it's something that keeps you coming back to play. Whereas, I don't know, I haven't really felt like this feeling like that in COD Zombies in quite some time. So, again, it would be awesome to see that. And like I said, the fact that they're adding Spec Ops basically goes against that whole point. Where you really think you're going to be playing Spec Ops even once, even maybe more than once. Are they even going to add Spec Ops? We really don't even know at this point. So, I'm really going to be excited for Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. Please, boys, let me know what you guys would like me to upload on the multiplayer for different types of content i think that would be a lot of fun definitely would like to sink my teeth into that for at least a little bit just to see how it goes but like i said i have very little confidence with the game mode having anything to do with zombies 
or any sort of updates to any older games because I would just be shocked to be honest if like unless Treyarch just comes out of nowhere and says yeah we're making the new zombies mode for Modern Warfare 2 it doesn't make sense to me especially also now that this game is releasing before Halloween on October 28th it really doesn't seem like they have three full game modes to serve in this uh, game it's literally just sounds like it's going to be campaign and multiplayer so I mean it'll be interesting it's just like the good old days but I, is this the safer strat? I mean, right now, probably is with all the garbage that's been ha happening at Activision right now. It's just ridiculous as to what's going on right now. So I think they're just trying to make the simplest, cleanest, greatest product for the consumer. Is it going to even last a year? We do not know. Like I said, if it's going to be anything involving with the Warzone uh, mix, where they basically take all the guns from Modern Warfare 2, put it into Warzone, I don't see this lasting over a year. I feel like it's just going to be a DLC pack at most. And uh, like I said, I don't really know what Activision would really be planning on making a big project right now, considering they have much bigger projects to be dealing with in their own studio currently. So it's going to be interesting. Like I said, I think this is the greatest time to release Modern Warfare 2 because they are really in a rut. Call of Duty right now is in a massive rut and they are truly really trying, in my opinion, to compete with the gaming sphere. But it just seems like they don't understand what the audience wants. And honestly, it's also a little bit of us not understanding what we want out of Call of Duty at this point in time. So, I mean, I know what I want from Call of Duty. I want a standalone zombies game. I'm sick and tired of regular multiplayer campaign releases. I know most people aren't, though, so they'll never stop. But it's going to be extremely interesting, in my opinion, to see what exactly happens after this game because if this game honestly has zero zombies experiences that are coming out of it that will honestly make me feel so much more better just knowing the fact that there is a massive experience being developed for 2024 and also then deviation games releasing in 2024 for them to combat against each other and like i said i love competitive rivalry against all gaming communities because it means that each gaming community comes out just slightly a little bit better. And I mean, we were so fortunate to have great people heading a lot of these studios in the past, like Lee Ross, Jason Mundell. And it's going to be interesting to see who decides to fill in those shoes. We know Treyarch is going to be Kevin Drew. Deviation Games is going to be Blundell. What is it going to happen really with Infinity Ward with this game? I'm not sure. Like I said, I think the hype levels are quite high, though, just because Modern Warfare 2 is in the title, and that's going to bring a lot of people back. And it's definitely going to bring me back into multiplayer, but I just don't want to necessarily be uploading the same thing as everything else. So that's why I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say for me to go on in terms of uploading with this game. But boys, that is Mephistopheles. It's one of my favorite boss fights. Please, IW, if you're adding a Infinity Ward, if you're adding a Zombies mode, bring back the classics like this bring back the wacky bring back the fun because i mean that is i feel like the biggest problem that a lot of people want in zombies and in just call of duty in general and it just seems like it really hasn't been there in a really really long time but anyways boys it's been an absolute pleasure thank you guys so much for coming out to this video if you did enjoy please make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see y'all in that next one